Hello and welcome to Urpeg tutorial. This is lesson 2 invoices. In today's lesson, we'll show you how to create an invoice. An invoice is a document issued to a customer for sold products, services or materials. An invoice usually consists of date and time, number, customer information, terms of payment and taxes. To create an invoice, go to Sales, Invoices and here you will see a list of all invoices that you have issued until today. At the moment the list is empty, as you can see. Select a warehouse from which you want to issue an invoice and select a year as well. And click on New, New Invoice. Enter the number, note and date of your invoice. The software will automatically assign today's date. However, you can change that and enter the date you want. Choose your customer from the customer field. But as you can see at the moment, we do not have a customer. So we will create a new customer. Click on new, enter the name of your partner and other information. Click OK to confirm. And select your items. Enter the quantity. The software has offered the price that was previously defined in the price list. However, that price can be changed as well. For example, type 495 and click OK to confirm. And as a result of this document, we now have a change in our stocks. We, we have also obligated our customer. You can also print this document by clicking on the print button which is located at the bottom of the screen and as you can see this is the document that we will give to our customer. We have address, basic document info, who issued the document, number, date, due date, you can see document content, VAT, terms of payment. This document can be sent to email, shared, printed, saved to G Drive, etc. You can see a journal voucher by clicking here, preview, where as you can see the software has automatically assigned accounts and obligates your customer, calculates taxes, incomes expenses, goods on stocks and margin. Now we'll create a new invoice but before that we'll create a logo for your company. We will let our customer to pay for goods by two monthly installments and we'll create one sales order as well. Go to Settings, Admin, click on Header, and import Footer. and click OK to confirm. Now add terms of payment. Choose period type. So let's say that we will have 
two monthly installments. Confirm the document and go to sales orders. Click on new, select a customer, terms of payment, add your items, you can print this document as well. So, as you can see, this is your company logo, header, footer, taxes, terms of payment. From this sales order, we can automatically generate an invoice. Click on generate invoice. The content of this invoice is exactly the same as the sales order. So you can see that this document was created from the sales order. In this case, this is sales order number one slash 13, where number one stands for the number of the sales order. Zero one stands for a warehouse from which this sales order was issued and 13 stands for year. You can also print this document and as you can see this document was made quite fast. We can see a journal voucher by clicking on preview where we can see our customer and his two monthly installments. calculation of taxes, sales revenue of goods, cost of goods sold, margin, etc. And this ends our lesson too. Thank you.